Hell yeah, what's up guys? It's Curse Pike. My friends call me Big C. Back in action today, I'm going to show you how to install your own custom font in Photopea. Photopea is a free image editor where you can create your own custom thumbnails just like this one here. Uh, and this one I'm doing a uh, giveaway for a game called Wounded and I don't like the font. And the reason why is it's an indie survival horror game and this font doesn't scream indie survival horror. So what do I do? I'm going to go to Defont. This is one of many websites, but this is a simple one that I'll show you how to use. It doesn't have to be from this website, but it's just nice and easy. I'm going to go there, and then I'm going to look at the bottom here, and I'm going to see an option for horror. I'm going to click on that horror, and when I'm here, I get to see a whole bunch of diff you know, unique-looking, scary, horror-type fonts. And I don't know, let's go with uh, something like Help Me. This looks like a fun one. I'm going to go ahead now and click on Download, and this is the font that I want to use. So there it is. It's downloaded it as a zip file. I'll just open it. So I'll show it in Finder, and then I'll just move it to my Documents folder. And when I'm in there, I'm going to double click on it, and presto, we get a pretty cool looking font. There it is. It's a .ttf, as you can see. And now we're going to go ahead and install it into Photopea. It's very simple to do. Head on back to Photopea. And now double click on the font or the word, pardon me, that you want to change. In this case, it's the word wounded. And you'll see here that I've got Bebas Noia uh, selected by default here. But I don't want that one. So I click on that and I'm going to click on load font. And when I do that, uh, it's got my other fonts here. I'm going to go ahead back to documents. And this one, I believe, if I remember correctly, it was called Help Me. There it is. I'm going to download, I'm going to click on that. And then I'm going to click on this helpme.ttf file click on open and it says font help me loaded but it hasn't changed yet we got to do one more thing go ahead and click again on that little triangle take this and go right to the bottom and then you'll see that it is there and it's clickable so if I click on help me presto there we go we've gone ahead and changed the font doesn't quite work for what I'm looking for here but I'm just gonna go ahead and reduce the size a little and there we go we've got wounded it's yeah it's not bad that, however, is how you create your own custom font and use it inside Photopea. Thanks for watching. Ton more stuff coming up.